federal detention center after the rapper took to social media claiming he was being abused by correctional officers and inmates. In a news conference held yesterday, attorney Ben Crump said he and Kodak's mother scheduled a welfare check on the rapper. But hours before that meeting, they were told Kodak was put on a bus and sent to a different prison in Kentucky. They now believe authorities intentionally moved him so that he couldn't meet up with his lawyers. With what's going on in American prisons today, it is always important that a family member, if they believe something is going on with their loved one, with their relative, that they take it seriously. What's good, YouTube? This your boy, DJ Q Waves. Back again with another new video. If you're new to the channel, be sure that red subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the news clip I just played previously for y'all, Kodak Black's family is planning to sue the prison for violating inmates' civil rights and failing to address the dangerous conditions within the facilities. Uh, you can see Kodak's mom hired famed attorney Benjamin Crump who was also represented for Trayvon Martin family in their case against George Zimmerman. And you know, Crump explained that Kodak's family had became, become increasingly worried about his safety while in Miami Federal Prison after he was detailed various instances of abuse in recent months. To refresh our memory, back last year in December, Kodak Black team explained what was going on with him uh, he was laced with unknown substance in the Miami Federal Detention Center. And then he told me the substance they gave him was like an out of body experience. He had him feeling like he was possessed and dying slowly. You know, he was getting pepper sprayed, beat up, couldn't freaking see, his vision was messed up. And it's like, it's like they treating Kodak Black, you know, like a freaking dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, the prison system is all messed up. And and the family is going to take action. As you can see, they're going to sue. And they said Kodak going to move to Kentucky. I don't know. That's going to, you know, hopefully that'd be a better situation for him. You know, Kodak Black been through, going through a lot, man. Like, Kodak Black, been, he's like one of the most talented artists in the game. And it's just sad that what's going on with him. You know, some people are like, you know, that's what you deserve. You want to talk that tough stuff, but come on, man. Don't nobody deserve to get beaten up and all this stuff, man. But I, I don't believe Kodak Black deserves it. Some people might believe he deserved this. You know, Kodak also said that his girlfriend was taking off visitation lists. He was denied visitation with his mother. He also claimed that he was given an empty tray for his meal on New Year's Eve. You know, but it's like, I don't know, man. Like, all the abuse and stuff just it makes the prisons dangerous like you know you never know it's like somebody some other inmates might try to attack them because you know because he's well known like he Kodak Black is not in a good situation you know what I'm saying he's not in PC like Takashi who's a rat snitch you know what I'm saying Kodak Black you know he just he just got to he got you know I don't know man it's just crazy man but, you know, people are like, oh, he, he took the risk, man. So he got to do the conditions, you know. That's what he deserves, you know. You know, he's been saying all the crazy stuff about Lauren London, Nip, you know. He get what he deserves, man. But I don't think nobody deserves prison besides rapists and uh, pedophiles. That's my opinion. But, like I said, Carter Black, he, he's still young. I feel like he don't get his act together, man. I believe he could act. You listen to this video some way, somehow. I believe you, bruh. Man, this. You still, you still talented, man. Just, you know, you gonna, you gonna find your way. But that's my take on this whole situation. Y'all comment below, share your thoughts. And make sure y'all click the video links above at the end of this video. And make sure you follow my social media pages. And ask me any questions or anything you want me to talk about. Peace.